I welcome you all in this lecture related with the subject engineering economics. Now we are going to learn the fourth unit. The name of the fourth unit is replacement and maintenance analysis. In this lecture, we are going to learn this following concept that is simple probabilistic model for assets which fail completely. In the previous lecture, we learned this following two concepts that is determination of economic life of an asset, replacement of existing asset with new asset. The another name of the second method is challenger defender concept these two methods is related with mechanical components the failure may take place due to gradual failure in the mechanical components in the second method the name of the second method is simple probabilistic model for assets which fail completely this method is related with electronic items because in the industry electronic items gets failed all of a sudden this leads to sometimes it leads to complete breakdown breakdown means downtime in this time we don't have any manufacturing process so maybe we may end up with losses in the industry so we have to avoid this breakdown to avoid this breakdown we use any one of the replacement policy for this electronic items the first replacement policy is individual replacement policy this in this replacement policy we will replace the component electronic items uh, once it gets failed in group re replacement policy, we will replace all the components at one particular interval of time. Maybe, for example, in our uh, industry, we are having 100 number of electronic items. Uh, after two years, we have to replace all these 100 number of electronic items. Maybe uh, at some particular time, maybe in the period of uh, first two years, maybe one or two components gets failed. So we have to we have to add some provision. That provision is we can replace this individual failed items at this particular time. So a group replacement policy consists of group replacement plus individual replacement if any fail occurs. So with this one numerical problem, we will explain this concept how we can choose any one of the replacement policy that is individual replacement policy is best or group replacement policy is best. So we to identify this, we have to do the numerical analysis in here. We will have one problem statement. For this problem statement, we will do the numerical analysis. At the end, we will find which one is which group, which replacement policy is best we can identify at the end of this analysis. Here, the problem statement is there are 10,000 bulbs in a decorative set. When any bulb fail to be replaced, the cost of replacing the bulb individually is 1 rupee. If all the bulbs are replaced at the same time, the cost per bulb would be reduced due to rupees. 0.35 rupees the percentage of bulbs surviving at the end of month that is s of t and the probability of failures during the month that is p of t are given below determine the optimum replacement policy because we don't know at which time the electronic equipment gets failed so based on the probability theory we will solve this problem t represents months zero represents present at present we are installing this much number of 10,000 number of bulbs that represents zero time at first during the first month uh, the survival probability is 97 at the end of second month the survival probability is 90 in this way they are giving the problem statement p of d we can find this we can find the probability of failure from the survival probability 900 minus 97 divided by 100 we will get 0 0.03 that is p of d for first month P of D for second month can be calculated by 97 minus 90 divided by 100 that is 0.07. In this way we can find the P of T for the corresponding months. The first step in this problem is we have to find the number of bulbs replaced at the end of 8th month. Based on the probability ratio we can we have to find uh, at the end of first month how many bulbs gets failed. Based on this data we have to replace the failed bulbs. So, N0 represents the present time. At present, we are installing 10,000 bulbs. N1 represents the how many bulbs we have to replace at the end of first month. So, based on the probability ratio, we will find this, find the answer. So, N0 into P1. At the end of first month, we have the probability ratio that is P1. P1 is 0 0.03. So, N0 we know 10,000 bulbs. 10,000 into 0 0.03, we will get 300. So, at the end of second month, we have to find the number of bulbs replaced so that will be calculated by using this step n0 into p2 plus n1 into p1 so we have to start from n0 
then the second term starts with n1 if it is n2 you have to start the probability ratio by multiplying the nr with p2 with p2 plus n1 into p1 in this way we have to calculate the number of bulbs replaced at the end of second month for third month we have to start with same n0 into here the value is n3 so we have to multiply the n0 with p3 plus r, the next to to n0 next value of n0 is n1 n1 into the previous value of p3 is p2 so n1 into p2 plus the next value of n1 is n2 the previous value of p2 is p1 so in this way we have to find the number of bulbs replaced at the end of eighth month for here they are given sixth uh, six month data so we have to find the six month and uh, details for the problem we have to find up to n6 n6 can be calculated by using this line that is if starts with n not multiplied by here the value is n6 so p6 plus uh, uh, next value of n not is n1 the previous value of p6 is p5 so in this way you have to write this line then you have to substitute all the values in this line finally we will get how many bulbs we have to replace at the end of 6 month can be identified now the step 1 is over next we have to find the step 2 in the step 2 we will find the individual replacement cost the first replacement policy individual replacement policy for this replacement policy how much amount it will takes we have to find so based on this value we will select the replacement policy expected life of each bulb can be calculated by using this formula that is summation i to n i to n i starts with 1 i into pi so here the number of uh, month is 6 so n is 6 so we have to substitute the value summation i equal to n 1 up to 6 i into pi if you expand this summation we will get uh, 1 into p1 plus 2 into p2 plus 3 into p3 plus 4 into p4 plus 5 into p5 plus 6 into p6 if you substitute uh, all the values we will get the answer 1 into p1 p1 is 0 0.03 plus 2 into p2 that is 0 0.07 plus 3 into p3 that is 0 0.20 if you substitute all the values you will get the answer so expected life of each bulb is 4.02 months so each bulb the life of the each bulb is 4.02 months next we have to find average number of failures for the particular month that one month that that can be calculated by dividing the 10000 divided by 4.02 months life of each bulb divided by sorry total number of bulbs divided by the life of each bulb Finally, we will get the answer that is 2488 failures occurs at every month. So, at the end of first month, this much, this much amount, this much uh, bulbs gets failed. So, we have to replace this bulb. So, for, re, for individual replacement, the cost will be 1 rupees for one bulb. So, if you multiply this 2488 bulbs with 1 rupee we will get 2488 rupees that is the cost of individual replacement policy next we have to find the group replacement policy cost that can be calculated by using this following table i will explain the procedure first column represents end of month that will be denoted as a letter the second column represents cost of replacing 10,000 bulbs at a time because in group replacement policy we will replace all the bulbs at one particular at some period of time in this period we will replace the individual bulbs also if any bulbs get failed here, we will replace the individual bulb also that can be calculated in the third column fourth column uh, can be calculated by adding this group replacement plus individual replacement finally we will get the fourth column next we have to find the average cost because in the in this lecture we will find the economic life of an asset uh, in this economic life of an asset concept we will identify the cost for particular years so at the initial time the cost will be high over once the year progress the cost will get reduced at after some period of time the cost gets again increased total cost gets again increased the conversion takes place at any particular point so corresponding to that point we have to note down the 
duration that is year or month this month is uh, optimum this month uh, gives the answer for the group replacement policy same concept is utilized here so here we have to find the answer for group replacement cost that is for first by iterative method we will find the answer for this problem uh, first first we will find the answers for first month at the end of first month if we will replace all the bulbs at the end of first month means here we have 10000 bulbs so if you replace all 10000 bulbs each bulb cost 0.35 rupees so if you multiply these two we will get the group replacement cost at the end of first month that is 3500 rupees uh, in the previous slide we will find the uh, we will find the answer for first month that is at the end of first month this much amount this much uh, number of bulbs gets replaced gets replaced because this much amount of bulb gets failed so we have to replace this much amount of bulbs so at the end of first month 300 bulbs gets failed that is n1 we will find we already find in the previous slide so for cost of uh, individual replacement cost is 1 rupees if you multiply 300 into 1 we will get 300 rupees this is for first month individual replacement cost if you add these two we will get total cost for first month to find the average cost we have to divide this value by corresponding month that is 3800 divided by 1 that is 3800 for the second month if you replace all the bulbs we need 3500 rupees that is calculated by 10000 into 0.35 at the end of second month at the end of first month 300 bulbs get failed at the end of second month 709 bulbs gets failed if you add these two we will get uh, for two months this much amount of bulbs get failed that is 300 plus 709 that is 1009 for 1009 bulbs we need one rupees for one bulb if you multiply with one we will get 1009 rupees for individual replacement so in the group replacement policy consists of group replacement plus individual replacement if you add these two we will get the total cost that is 4509 next we have to find the cost for one particular year here the total number of month is sorry here they mentioned month for two months 4509 rupees for one month we have to find the average cost per month so that can be calculated by dividing this total cost divided by corresponding month 4509 divided by 2 we will get 2254.5 rupees that is average cost for 2 months in this way by using n1 n2 n3 we will find the average cost for third month by using n0 n1 n2 n3 n4 we will find the answer for fourth month if you look at the last answer that is average cost at the initial time the cost will be high over the year once the year progress the average cost gets reduced 3800 which is higher than the 2254 rupees uh, 2184 which is lesser than the previous value if you look at the fourth value that is 2680 rupees which is higher than the previous value so the conversion takes place at this third point uh, corresponding to this point we have to note down the month that is three so uh, for group replacement we have to use the the group replacement takes place at the third month by this table we will find that the group replacement for this uh, setup is third month the cost of the group replacement policy 2184 rupees if you compare this two value if you compare the value group replacement cost with the individual replacement cost this group replacement cost is less so we have to choose group replacement policy for this setup which gives lesser cost which which needs lesser cost so we can use group replacement policy is the optimum replacement policy for this setup uh, this uh, method is the last concept in the fourth unit